Let's check out the tail of the tape brought to you by Dave & Buster's, the only place to eat, drink, play, and watch sports. This has fight of the night written all over it. Both guys, 18 wins, two losses, extremely experienced. Goichi Yamauchi with so many of those wins by submission, 14 of the 18. Live on Spike from Bohegan Sun, Bellator MMA presented by Miller Lite now features three five-minute rounds in the featherweight division brought to you by Icy Hot Smart Relief 10 Therapy. Turn off back pain. And now first introducing the blue corner at five foot seven, weighing in 145 pounds even. Tonight, he makes his U.S. and Bellator debuts, bringing an impressive professional record of 18 wins, just two losses, with four draws. He fights out of Yokohama, Japan, introducing Isao Kobayashi. And across the cage, his adversary fighting out of the red corner at five foot eight, weighing in 145.8 pounds. Impressive as well. As a professional, 18 victories with two defeats. Hele from Curitiba, Bahama, Brazil, introducing Goichi Yamauchi. In charge of the action, your referee, Brian Miner. Goichi Yamauchi because of two various injuries that force cancellation of fights. He is 400 days away, and we'll watch for Cage Rust early. You ready? You ready? Fight! Fight clock brought to you by Miller Lite, the original Pilsner Cheers. It's Miller time. Namuchi, a lot of faith in his striking. Wants to stay on the ground. I'm sorry, wants to stay off the ground against Yamauchi. Incredibly flexible, incredibly unorthodox. You can see how willing Yamauchi is to get this to the ground. Yep. Loves his jiu-jitsu. Just falling in love with that rear naked choke. He has 10 wins by rear naked choke, and he's only 22. Transition to the footlock right away. In a calf slicer position. Look at the left leg of Kobayashi. That's a great transition, not letting Kobayashi off the hook, staying sticky. Kobayashi with his back up against the fence, keep this in mind, he's a veteran, but this is only his fifth fight inside a cage. His fights have come in Japan, almost all of them inside a ring. How is that different? A lot of breakups as guys get tangled in the ropes, they restart them in the center, and get little tiny advantages that way. The cage is much less forgiving. Two weeks away from watching Marshine Held go for a world title, the submission ace. Yamauchi is very tricky as well. Both guys have a similar style, a lot of leg locks, aggressive from the bottom and the top, unorthodox. Hard to train for a guy like that. Kobayashi right now, so far on the defensive. Trying to ride this out, get it back to the feet. Look at that beautiful transition. Didn't let him off the hook. A lot of guys lose a submission like that, and they just get back to the feet. But Uchi Yamuchi staying on him. This is exactly where Kobayashi does not want to be. One hook in, now two. Yamuchi just not giving him a break. And no rope break that he is accustomed to. Kobayashi says, everyone will remember my name when this is over. You need to be a little more specific than that. Be careful what you wish for. Kobayashi finished his camp in California. He spent a lot of time in the States, but he has never fought here. Body triangle locked. Yamauchi showing no signs of the time away from the cage. Because he's kept it in his world. He hasn't taken any big strikes. Hasn't had to deal with adversity early. That's where ring rust comes out. The timing's a little off, but Bochamuchi has done so much grappling that as soon as it goes to the floor, he's going to be comfortable. I don't care how much time he's taken off. In rear naked choke position, not under the chin yet. And notice how he didn't waste a lot of time going for it. Now resets and going for it again. 
Goichi Yamauchi is so beyond his years, the way he operates. Completely. And they are right in front of us. Goichi still searching, trying to get that forearm under the chin. Don't expect him to overcommit until he gets there. It's a long 85 seconds. Now almost in a reverse arm triangle position. You don't see this very often. I've seen this with a gi. I've never seen it in no gi. Going back to the rear naked again. Now we might have it. Putting a lot of pressure on him, going to the gable grip. Look at the pressure on the back. Yamuchi in complete control. Kobayashi's out. And for Kobayashi, you're waiting for the break. You're waiting for that moment when this kid will stop attacking, and it is not coming. This has been methodical. Look at how calm he has remained. Trying to step up and trying to trap the arm. And for a couple hill strikes. And right now, if you're Kobayashi, you're just waiting for that bell to ring. Stepping over, trying to trap the arm. BJ Penn famous for that. Kobayashi going to lose the round. But it's a win, just getting to it. Looking for an opening, trying to use these last few seconds. Kobayashi is not only alive, he is well at the end of round number one. Yamauchi had the fight where he wanted it because he landed that big elbow to set up a very big round one. Fight tonight, his next title defense, probably against Joe Warren, still to come. Yamauchi was so impressive in round number one, how methodical he was. You see what the greats do. They don't spend a lot of energy going for something they're not going to get. He kept switching, looking for that right position. Didn't burn a lot of gas. Quarterback, first receiver isn't open. Go to the second, go to the third, go to the fourth. And remember, Yamauchi on the right of your screen is still just 22 years old. Scary. That being said, having a dominant round on the ground, submission-wise, the guy gets up, he's physically still in good shape. If that had been a, you know, a punching exchange the entire first round, he'd be bloody, he'd be battered, but he's not. He's still very much in this fight physically. Download the free Spike app with full episodes of your favorite shows anywhere, anytime, for free. Now available from the App Store and Google Play. An outside trip by Kobayashi. I don't know if that was a smart move. You can see what Yamauchi accomplished the last time the fight was here, and he was more than content. You want to take it here? Come into the web, said the spider to the fly. And didn't throw a lot of strikes. I mean, that's not a high total for a guy who spent the entire first round on the ground. He's a submission guy. That's what he thinks of first. It was technical dominance, not Yes, there. exactly. Bayashi on top now, king of Pancras. Think of some of those names. Ken Shamrock, Frank Shamrock, Fudaki, Guy Metzger, Boss Rutten, great fighters. Whenever I hear Boss Rutten now, I just like to hear him say, yo. <laughs> Liver kick, that's another good one. And you think when you flash back to Boss, how devastating he was in Pancras, you think of those open handed oh, slaps. They knock you out with, a, with an open hand, that's incredible. Anaconda is a good way to describe it. And for the Kimura, seeing here trying to isolate the left arm of Kobayashi. Kobayashi coming down in weight. He has spent most of his career at lightweight. This is just his fourth fight at 145. Now, great job isolating the Kimura. Kobayashi has to roll right He's now. Trying. He is tied up pretty good. Out. He's rolled, but he's still in Kimura position. His arm is still bent. He's still in a lot of trouble. And we've been talking about the poise of Yamauchi, but you can see the veteran Kobayashi. He hasn't panicked in any of these situations. He has not. He's been largely dominated for the eight minutes, but he's still here. 
knockout power. Namauchi has never faced another Japanese fighter. Obviously came up through Brazil, where he grew up. We talked extensively, they both did, about the pride. Which I mean, in both senses of the word. He grew up in Brazil. He's Brazilian for sure, but he talks about that Japanese spirit. He talked about that a lot when he talked about this fight. When he was nice elbow. When he was eight years old, he met Vanderlei Silva. And five seconds before he met him, he heard a noise he had never heard before. And that was Vanderlei Silva working out and throwing kicks. Now you see the cut, you see the damage finally done. Obayashi is taking a couple of good elbows here. And I like that, that ability to switch gears and try something different with those short elbows. How bad a spot is that for that cut? Outside the eye is usually pretty good. Shouldn't interfere with his vision too much, but I can't see exactly how bad it is from here, but the placing's not bad. It's not on the lid. It's not a fight-stopping area. The problem is, though, it's an easy place to target on the ground. Maybe trying to get that leg through, pass half guard. The way world title will be decided in St. Louis in two weeks. Third fight of the trilogy between Patricio Pitbull and Daniel Strauss. That line at Featherweight is long, impressive. Goichi Yamauchi wants to be on that list. And the way he's fighting tonight, yeah. he belongs there. Looks like a net crank position. Can activate the hips enough to really crank on the back. He can get this, but can't tell how much he's going for it. It's been all Yamauchi, but Kobayashi survived. He was able to roll and relieve the pressure on the shoulder. That's the only reason we're seeing a round number three. I can't get the submission. I'm going to switch gears, do a little damage. Ready? Veteran Ready? move. Which direction do you go in round three? Jimmy, you thought it was a 10-8 round number one. 10-8 round number one, complete wipeout on the ground. The only reason the second round wasn't a 10-8 was the takedown was on top a little bit, slightly more competitive, but round number two could have been a 10-8 as well. 10-8 round usually includes those potentially fight-ending moments. Kobayashi was in real danger yeah. in round one. Several times. And I said round two could have been a 10-8 as well. Obayashi has never been stopped. He has lost twice, both on the judges' card. Kobayashi has to let it all hang out in this third round. Oh my you God! Left. How dominant can you be? A wipeout on the ground, and look at that shot. Dropping Kobayashi, as you said, having never been finished. Kobayashi, a very tough customer, and he just dropped him with that shot. I think if he fought up from strikes, he could finish it right now, but going back to his jujitsu. Man, pick your poison with this kid. This is stunning how dominant a performance this has been. Stepping over, committing to the Kimura. Almost had it in round two. And now he's going right to the back. Look at that transition. Man. Jimmy, he went for the Kimura to set this up. Oh, man. I love that sense, that maturity of, I'm not going to get this. I already have to be thinking about the next move or the next position. This is impressive stuff from a young kid. This is checkers and chess right now. Completely. I've said it before. Up against a superior grappler, it's like playing chess with half the pieces. Kobayashi is a veteran of over 20 professional fights. He has never been stopped, and it seems in this one he has been in danger of being stopped from the opening minute. A lot of pressure on the neck right now. This could be it. Not under the chin, but he could be putting enough pressure to put him out from here. And this is that Japanese warrior spirit. Kobayashi in so much trouble here. He is still fighting back, still trying to stay in this fight. I don't know what's been more impressive, Yamauchi's dominance or the fact Kobayashi's still here. I would say Yamauchi's dominance. This has been a one-sided train wreck. Oh, 
Sometimes you're the windshield, sometimes you're the bug. We said one of these guys needed to make a statement in this very stacked featherweight division. We're watching a statement right now. now. You and I have talked about it whenever we talk about 145 is who's the young gun who's gonna establish who's gonna challenge the established names at featherweight. I think we're getting that answer that question answered tonight. Saw Emmanuel Sanchez take that step forward in Hidalgo last month. Joichi Yamauchi has done that here. He said the time away was good for him. He healed up, refocused his career, and it has shown in a dominant performance. And for the rear naked, Gable grip. Look at the pressure with the hips. He's given it all this time. That's it. over. Kobayashi had never been stopped in his professional career. He was dominated for 14 minutes by Goichi Yamauchi, who records the stoppage. That was beyond impressive. If Goichi Yamauchi had scripted this fight, had scripted it, this is how it would have gone. Dominant in every facet, facet of the game. Incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, the tap comes by way of a rear naked choke. Official time, three minutes, 50 seconds into round number three. The winner by submission, do Brasil, Goichi Yamahuchi. 22 years old, his 11th finish by rear naked choke. Goichi with Jimmy. First off, congratulations. You couldn't have scripted that fight much better. Dominant on the feet, dominant on the ground. How does it feel to get a win like that? I'm feeling great. You know, uh, Kobayashi is a tough dude. He's one of the best featherweight in the world. So my, my performance was good. I, I like it. I will train more and more to, to improve my techniques. But I, uh, I made a good performance today. Now, the belt on the line. November 6th, Patricio Pitbull versus Daniel Strauss. I know you want to be right there with those guys. What's your message to the winner of that fight? Patricio, I know you will beat Daniel, so accept my fight. Accept. I'm the next contender, baby. I, I'm here to be a champion. I'm the, the Bellator needs new blood, and I am the champion. You heard it, Patricio Pitbull. You are on notice. Let's give it up for Goichi Yamuchi, ladies and gentlemen.